But I was going to ask you, what was your big influence as an artist when you were young that you can relate to now and go, you know, I'm, I'm probably here because of listening to that? Um, do you know what? I think one that's kind of reared its head again recently is Akon. Yep. Um, one of the first albums that my brother brought back with him was, I think he had a, a, a Lil Wayne mixtape and then he had an Akon um, album. I think it was the, the Convict, um, the first one. But um, that really hit home because he did not shy away from his, his roots. Um, he, yes, he was based in America. He'd grown up there, as far as I remember. And um, it just made me think, look, the world is a lot bigger than, than I, I feel or I've been exposed to. And I was lucky enough at that point. I was already in Uganda. I'd read, left Zimbabwe, went to Kenya, moved to Uganda. I already knew the world was more than the, you know, the, the four walls around your house uh, or your, you know, your borders or whatever. The world is a big place. Mm. Um, and as technology has changed, it's just made it so much easier to go. It's possible. It's possible to do something. Um, so I think Acom was the first person made me realize one, um, you never know where, you know, passion and talent could take you. Give it a shot. And um, loved his music. Um, we, we heard it all the time. It was, it, was, it was hot in Uganda, which made me think, hold on. It came from the States, so it's probably hot there as well. So he'd clearly just become a... I want to say global success story at that point. And then to see what he's done recently, it's, it's, it's incredible. He's out there. He had a to unique life. tone to his voice too. Yeah, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> awesome. And it's just nice to see representation. Um, it, from an early stage, you don't recognize it. I only realize that now when I think about it. But the same way that you've seen, um, going back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's representation in diversity. Um, and that's important because I never realized I appreciated Akon for him being the African guy who's a success story over in the States. Um, but I appreciate it much more now realizing that I listened to that guy and I was so proud of the fact that he was um, unapologetically uh, African while still being a person who had grown up in the States and loved the States. 